There are certain things about the North Coast that make it one terrific place to live. The beautiful landscapes, the sense of family and community, and some incredible foods. In tonight's North Coast Spirit of the North Coast, News Channel 3's Dee Dee Sturdivant tells us about Nature Tracks, a small business that combines all of these things for a chance to help another North Coast asset, the wildlife. From real critters to chocolate critters, that's what Nature Tracks is all about. Each of these little footprints begins with a nice family outing. The Holmes family hits the beach, the woods, the rivers, wherever wildlife might leave behind some proof of existence. Really, our, our tracks are, you know, they represent everything out in the wild. A plaster is made out of the prints they find and then a mold created from there. In the end, it's chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. I'm standing inside the chocolate factory at Jacques Fine Chocolates, and I'll tell you, it kind of feels like a scene straight out of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But this is where, for Nature Tracks, the real fun begins. Jacques takes the molds created by the Holmes family and gets busy with the footprints, while the younger members of the clan wander around in a state of sheer chocolate bliss. When all is done and said, several different species have their temporary mark in this world. Temporary, of course, because eventually somebody must eat the chocolate. But more importantly, those very species benefit from your sweet tooth. We donate a portion of all of our profits to uh, wildlife rehabilitation centers. That's right. Your chocolate cravings could easily be saving the lives of some critters in need. And if eating a chocolate footprint isn't your idea of scrumptious, well, maybe you should try some of their other goodies. With our chocolate banana slug, uh, that's, that's been going like hotcakes. <laughs> we thought, oh yeah, we'll be doing the tracks only, but then when we came out with the slug, that's become our number one chocolate bar. <laughs> they also have a chocolate bald eagle's tail feather, which they cast from an eagle that hit a power line and lost a wing. So what in the world ever made this family think of chocolate tracks? Biologists by degree, they were gathering the prints anyway and wanted a way to use them that might educate people about wildlife, which is when Mrs. Holmes came up with a brainstorm. Or maybe it was a craving. If you're going to make tracks out of something, it should be something good like chocolate. So, <laughs> And the rest will go down in chocolate-covered history. With your Spirit of the North Coast, I'm Dee Dee Sterneman for News Channel 3. And Jim's here now with weather and what do you know?